Hello, dear viewers, friends, and all of that. Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. Um, this is TVT here. Now, before we get into it, we're gonna we're gonna have a little disclaimer here, and I'll I'll put a, a timestamp in the description if you wanna skip past this because this is gonna take a few minutes. I just wanted to address a little bit of the controversy around this game before we start, um, and also address a, 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 a question that you may or may not have seen uh, answered in uh, one of my one of my posts on the community tab. But yeah, this is one of the only times you will ever see me uh, address politics on my channel. I, I really and social events. We're not really here to do that. We're here to play games and and. And I'm here to entertain you while playing games. Whether that means I do something awesome or die in spectacularly awesome fashion, you know, it doesn't really matter. As long as, as long as we're at the end of the day, we're all having fun. There, that then everyone wins. But I felt the need to address this because Harry Potter is was an important part of my childhood. It was, it was like the first two books were read to me by my parents, and so, so it has a place in my in my upbringing that can't be ignored uh, neither can some of the positions that its creator JK Rowling has taken uh, which brings me to the controversy around this game there's a lot of people that are going around and saying you shouldn't buy this game you're supporting JK Rowling and she is not and she is uh, against trans people and trans rights or something of that effect um, I, and I am a supporter of trans rights, so why am I looking at this thing indicating that I've bought this game? Well, because I don't subscribe to the idea that simply because I have purchased this product that I am in turn supporting the views of the creator of the Harry Potter franchise. I, I don't agree with that. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair to all the developers and people who've put probably more time into the game than Rowling has. The only, the only thing, albeit an important thing, that she did for the development of this game was she wrote some of the background lore. As, as it would be in the best interest of the game developers to consult the creator of the franchise for information like that. So I, I, don't, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Um... Now, I, I, while I may disagree with the points of view of, of the creator of Harry Potter, that doesn't mean that I can't enjoy this game. And, you know, if you think that you shouldn't play it, that, that you can't bring yourself to play the game because of the views of, uh, because of J.K. Rowling's views, that is on, that's, that's fine. I completely support that. No, n no problem. You know? That is your decision that you have in this free world that we live in. Free in quotes sometimes. But what I'm saying here is that just as you have the decision not to buy the game while supporting trans rights, I too can buy the game while also being in favor of these things. And uh, I, it's like, you know what? If, if that's a problem, agree to disagree and we move on. Uh, but what I'm not okay with is when people start telling other people what they should and shouldn't do. And, and uh, in some cases, even going so far as to guilt, to like make them guilty by association that they're, um, they are supporting JK Rowling's views by buying this game. Therefore they shouldn't buy this game. Well, that's not true. And that's not, you know, that's really... I don't know. I, I just think that's not moral. And uh, and it was I I've been mulling, like playing this game, for for a lot of that. Cause did, did I want to get involved in the controversy? And this is my my take on it. Is at the end of the day, that's your choice. Don't then get mad at other people for making a choice that you may not agree with personally, because. You have this decision to spend your money as you wish. Let other people do as they wish. And don't try and link that to how they may feel about certain issues. Now, with that out of the way... Um... Yeah, I think, uh... 
You might be wondering why this is this is debuting on Monday instead of Elden Ring if you haven't read my community post. Well, uh, the reason why is because I wanted to take a little break from Elden Ring for a couple weeks just so I can kind of plan my route in the game. Um, it will be coming back, and when it does, it will be coming back on Tuesdays instead of Mondays. But there's going to be a couple weeks grace period before it returns. It, get it? Grace? Elden Ring? I'll see myself out. Anyway, yeah, don't don't worry if you were enjoying that let's play. It is coming back. It's just we're gonna take I'm gonna take a few weeks. See, I'm gonna plan my route how I want to go about uh, addressing the game and getting through it. Um, because I'm not overly happy with the way that it has progressed in a lot of ways. So uh, I, I want to try to see to try to revise it and you know come up with something a bit more streamlined so that. I'm not twiddling my thumbs for, you know, when I sit down and play this game that I enjoy. Now, with that out of the way, I think we're uh, down to press F. But first, let's actually, you probably have read this by now, but let's read it again in case you skipped to this point, whatever that may be. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and, and Wizardry as a fifth year student, okay? Term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. Okay, so I don't have to go buy a wand or whatever it is. As you may be aware, the decree for reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor... Elazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you to London to the castle at the start of the term feast and sorting ceremony. Yours truly, M. Weasley, Professor Weasley, Dep Deputy Headmistress. Okay, interesting bit of information there. Um, one thing I, d I know very little about this game. All I do know is that it takes place at least 100 years before the events of the first Harry Potter book and movie. Therefore, uh, that Professor Weasley is not a is not a problem problem with the lore. Um, who's to say an ancestor to um, the modern Weasleys didn't have a, didn't hold a position somewhere in the school? After all, they are they are tied to the ministry and to the school very heavily. So, yeah, I've also forgotten most of my knowledge on the lore. Let's hit the let's hit the F button already. Okay, we get to customize my character. So as always, um, uh, all right. Okay, nothing here wows me so far. How, how crazy can I get with the design? Okay, all right. All right. Huh, I wish the designs were a little bit more, what's the phrase that I'm looking for here? What did that do? Okay, change the facial structure. I'm not sure how detailed I want to get with this. I mean, actually, you know what? I take it back. There's nothing that wows me, but there's nothing that I, I think is, is, like, all that bad either, you know? Okay, now we're gonna... Yo, where's my, uh, where's my green skin tone, please? Where, where's my orc? <laughs> okay. Oh. You know how we do. I mean, I've... It does give you the choice here, so I could select wizard in this situation and do that. I'm not going to. Huh. I'd literally like to know what, like, what actual year this game is set in, so... Alright. Probably wasted quite a bit of time here. Oh no, we're fine. We'll be okay. Okay. Oh boy. Ah. This is more than a hundred years ago. It appears we are almost ago. ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I you... appreciate you working with me before the time begins. 
Professor! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much Fuck. too long. When I received your owl, I must <laughs> say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Okay. Dire, dire expression as he looks at the camera. I'm calling it the, yeah, yeah. I'm calling it, that is, that is magic, but it's also a festival. Oh, oh man. Is that Willy Wonka? Yeah, the era that it looks like we're in is, um, which is a great indicator, it's a great uh, uh, sign of show don't tell. Actually, hold that thought, it's music, it's fucking good. traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I it's called of course, being the protagonist as the man. other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Okay. Music well, over. you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. I, I comment again, Professor Fee is not tell. only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably in, intuitive say, and gifted by the dress. Mr. Osric is prone and the, to flattery. The look of the area. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Why are before we I discuss respond, okay, I typical Harry Potter style, this. where the adults will discuss plot-related It was the last thing she sent me, Eliazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Ah, main character powers activate. Merlin's beard. How did you- Wait. We did. Right there. The key! Get 
how much actual gameplay I'll get. Yeah, you're damn lucky the dragon didn't whip out its breath weapon. <laughs> you would have been dead right there. Oh, that's the end of the game. But yeah, I, I appreciate that show don't tell back there. Are you right? Uh, you're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Oh, you know, it got this. chased by a dragon. It's Wigan no World big deal. Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Yeah, potion and potion of healing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we are gonna get to play the game. We're gonna do some tutorial here. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. Wazd? Oh, that rock formation kind of reminds me of Ark of the Order. One of the primary ones. Oh! Oh, there's the thumbnail. How far did that porky take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins, do you think- The porky was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, yeah, this I'd might like be a bit to of have a look around. Episode. Absolutely, see, sir. Good. It took a little bit on Let's the see creations. if we can find a path, however faded it may be. What, you mean like that one right there? The, the, this one? The, the one that is the only logical place that I'm able to go? Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. I like that this definitely feels like it could be, it belongs in this universe. Like, but sir, the main why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Maybe. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Basic cast. Excellent! Use your camera to select an active target, Roger. What? That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Ooh. Love the look of the magic here. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. 
I've always wondered if you could use other implements than wands in this universe. Like, could you use an instrument like a staff or ah, something? Up there! I don't know why you would. The wand is the most practical, as it, as it allows for a free hand, but... I'm just saying, could you with uh, personal practice? We're close now! It's and just also, ahead! Why do people in, uh, in this never wield a secondary melee weapon in addition to the wand in there? Like, Got a, they got the wand in their other hand, in their one hand. Why not have like a dagger if you're in a fight? Steady yourself. Like a dagger or a sword or hell, even a gun. In the Repair. I would say definitely probably probably not a range, but if you've already got your spells for that, yeah, definitely uh, grab grab a, like a melee weapon of some kind. Somebody gets in your face or you get in there. get a chance to pop off a spell on you at that time, so. I don't know. Just little things. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That poor key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. This entire building seems out of place. Our host was a noted seer. Interesting. God, this game is pretty. Love it. Enchanted crystallized stone again, but what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! someone have conjured that enchanted stone here and how is there a room behind it what room i don't see anything there's that glow again like the glow on the port key container okay let's let's investigate can't solve all your problems by blowing them up what in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Oh, that's not a very clear answer to where are we. Also, uh, this looks like it's green gods. Yeah, I see the goblin right there. Hello. A moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, we here. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is. 
Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. I like how he, how neither of them has any idea what's happening, which is exactly how I feel, which tells me I'm supposed to be curious. After you. This is great. I haven't gotten, gotten to actually play the game a whole lot, but this, this is some good stuff. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Scott, thank you. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Hmm. Very interesting. And I like that every scene plays out and has Here meaning. We are. So I'm like, I'm glad to be watching these cutscenes. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Can't oh man. magical universe. What I, do I you guess. suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Uh, <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Mark Let's of a see great what teacher. We're missing, Take the opportunity to still Ready tell you what's up. And focus. 
Something. Uh, Move a bit closer and try again. Oh. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I yes. do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Oh, oh. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. Did we just end up in I suspect Gloria? we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. the glow it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about are you all right yes sir i'm fine uh, uh, you uh, seem to have caused the floor to change that statue what statue i see some sort of statue but only as a reflection in the floor I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. The statue? Wait. Oh, uh, no. When you moved, I don't like that. The reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. We're gonna get, we're gonna get ourselves some Lum Lumos here. Okay, what uh, what hotkey is going on? You're slotted to your spell set. Okay, what's the button? One. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light.
yeah, yeah, yeah. Such a great shot right there. Oh, uh, he, I just watched him fade in the Oh, no. Professor? Professor Fig? Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Hmm. What's happening? The wizards this is giving me Jedi Fallen Order vibes somewhere. And I, and I like it. Oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Again. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Lumos. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Uh. Lumos. Oh, uh, well. Trigger them one at a time. Okay. I need to align these statues with their reflections. Mm. Dark Souls and all the Dark Souls and Elden Ring. Lumos. This ain't got shit. Okay. Oh. So cool. I love the label. Oh. Right, let me just drink from what the what is this? The fountain of youth? Is that liquid luck or something? Uh, there you are. How did you? 
What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Oh. I Created. May be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. I think you just found proof of it. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. The thing is, they didn't really find anything other than the memories, so... <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that... The instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well... Perhaps your young friend whoa, 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 here whoa. will be more. Leave me out of this. Okay, so we have a goblin that possesses two infinity gauntlets, and he's already got the powers down. Oh, uh oh. Defense mechanisms have been activated. Uh oh. The, uh, that's the um, Armageddon from uh, Ruby, the one that fights twice.
Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Uh, okay. We're just gonna... All right. <laughs> We're in kind of... This is... Okay, yep. It's funny, you always think of this theme as that as, as Harry's theme. But I think it's, 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 it always was the school. Of we can get to a spot where we can uh we can end off because i think uh i think it's about time to call it an episode here oh yeah yep nope been at it nearly an hour oh good we haven't missed the sorting ceremony i'm no expert but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? No. <laughs> But yeah, I think before we even get to the sorting ceremony, we're gonna we're gonna round it off and um Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Oh, complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Uh. Man, every time I want to end, end an episode, it's always like, oh, I gotta do this one more thing. Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. Do I actually get Welcome. to choose? You're just in time. Have a seat. I don't even know what I would choose. Then. I also decided to choose for me. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Uh, alright, I guess I have to choose. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm, indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. 
I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm, what is it? A hmm. uh, desire to learn? I do enjoy a good yeah, puzzle. An and I believe and I have I already wined. Mm. So. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Yeah, I'll take that. Creativity and wit. Yeah, yeah, accept it. Achievement, the sword. You belong Mason in Pinterest. Ravenclaw. So, am I the only one oh, after like most of one a day more of traveling? Thing. Due to the unfortunate no. injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Oof. So that was, that Enough. was one complaint I've heard. They it's don't have not Quidditch as though I've game. banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I, you, uh, oh, okay. We're, we're dismissed, apparently. I, Quite an what? entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. I just want the ha Oh, wow, look at everything loading it's in It's quite there. uncommon oh. for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. Okay, once I we get professor. to the common room, I'm going to call this it This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. What? I thought it needed a password. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Well done. Oh, I thought I was going to have to actually answer it. Go on in it. and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of See, you tomorrow. Probably, I shall be back man, in the I'm morning to collect you for in, your first class. In her situation, class. I'd be Thank really you, exhausted Weasley. and, You're welcome. and hungry as I hope you hell. enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Alrighty. That is going to do it for today's episode. Um, if, if you enjoyed it, once again, do me a solid, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications so you never miss a video, and be yeah, sure to like share with your gone. friends. Better head to the common room. Oh man, what a start. A long start, but a good one. Um, yeah, that, <laughs> much to say about it other than that. Absolutely fantastic, and, and as I said, I'm going to keep out of, out of the political aspects for the most part, but, you know... If the content's good, what's not to like, right? Also, I want to point out that the game literally gave you the option to choose um, whether you were witch or witch or wizard, in spite of what your character opinion um, character um, opinion uh, appearance was. So theoretically, it might not have mattered. In that in that case, that would be in fact supportive of that sort of thing. Uh, if indeed it would have given you the choice. But we shall see. 
But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. This has been TBT, signing out.